Today, we will talk about an Italian comic artist considered the master of erotic comics. Thanks to works such as H.P. and Giuseppe Bergman, Click and Indian Summer. Milo Manara was born in Luzon, Italy, on September 12, 1945. His parents were workers, so Milo and his brothers started doing small jobs in their childhood. At the age of 12, Milo made decorative panels on commission. With a clear inclination to the artistic, he would study at a private art school in which he graduated some time later. He moved to Verona, where he started working as an assistant to the famous Spanish sculptor Miguel Ortiz Berrocal, and at the same time he applied for the Faculty of Architecture in Venice. The political, social and artistic changes that took place in the 60s influenced the young Milo. This changed his vision of what art should be in society. Thanks to Berrocal's French wife, who brings the latest published comics from Paris, such as Barbarella or The Aventure of Jodel and Prapta, Manara can see firsthand comics that as a child did not interest him too much. What fascinated him most was the mass production of this medium, more similar to the production of a book than a painting as a single object. And also, he was interested in the low prices of comics that allowed many people to buy them. Manara saw in the comic an opportunity to develop his art more closely and honestly with his economic reality, seeing he was far from the elitism of fine arts. That is when he decided to experiment with a new language, passing from painting to embracing popular culture. In the late 60s, a couple of friends introduced him to the publisher Furio Biano, who launched Manara as an author of erotic cop stories belonging to the Genius series. Genius was in the first place a novel, then it turned into a comic book. Later, he would draw Yolanda de Almaviva, a famous pirate series which was on new stands from 1970 to 1974. Manara debuted in issue 14 out in May 1971. Meanwhile, he dropped out of college and then started his partnership with Il Corriere di Ragazzi, a weekly magazine where he drew comics writing by Milo Milani. Right after that, Manara with Silverio Pisu, co-founder of the satirical magazine Telerompo, launched two important works for his career, The Ape and Alessio. In 1978, he created his first successful character, and for the first time, he is also credited as the writer of the story. H.P. and Giuseppe Bergman, where H.P. stands as an image to famed Italian comic artist Ugo Pratt. This story is about Giuseppe, an Italian anti-hero whose destiny is to go on an adventure. Adventure in all its forms, exploring new graphic paths and new creative processes. Manara involved the character in an adventure that alternates between the fantastic, the erotic, the grotesque and the terrifying in a wacky decadent yet realistic universe. Giuseppe is guided by a master of adventure. This master is HP, and he is, in a way, the common thread of the story. He is the director who unfolds the succession of obstacles in front of Giuseppe to allow him to become the hero of his own adventure. Manaro's drawing in this work is strongly influenced by the Mobius creations. In the 80s, he created for Playman magazine, Click, a series of erotic Italian comics that gave him an unexpected worldwide success. From now on, Manara's career fully focuses on erotic productions. In 1987, he established a friendship with Federico Fellini. The director of La Dolce Vita was one of the creators who has influenced him the most. Bo shared his love of comics, his passion for women, and a certain way of seeing life. For the Italian filmmaker, he made the poster for Interview and The Voice of the Moon and was in charge of translating two scripts that Fellini did not make into a film, into comics, Viaggio a Tulum and Le Voyage de G. Mastorna. Also, from that period, he drew two key stories for his career and for Italian adventure comics, Indian Summer 
and years later, El Gaucho. Indian Summer is set in New Canaan, recreates the colonial period with detailed historical references and tells about the difficult coexistence between the inhabitants of a village founded by English colonists and the Indian native tribe of Escuando. El Gaucho is set in Argentina in the early 1800s, while the English Navy tries to conquer Buenos Aires from the Spanish. Within this scenario, the story of the English drummer Tom Brown will be crisscrossed with the beautiful Irish fishmonger Molly Malone. Both stories are based on the script by Hugo Pratt. In the early 90s, he drew the panels for Enzo Biaggi's Cristoforo Colombo, followed by three classic stories turned into comics, Gulliveriana, Manara's Kama Sutra, and The Golden Ass. Later, the doors of the United States will open for the Italian artist thanks to a collaboration with DC Comics. Manara illustrated the story of Desire, which appeared in the book Sandman Endless Night by Neil Gaiman. A few years later, he penciled an X-Men project, written by Chris Claremont for Marvel Comics, X-Men and X-Women. Then he made variant covers for Marvel comic books, which feature the most important female heroes of the Marvel Universe, from Black Widow to Gamora and the controversial cover of a Spider-Woman. In 2004 he worked on Borgia a four-part saga about the powerful and turbulent house, based on writings by Alejandro Jodorowsky. In the last decade, he has continued to publish works of great quality, including one of his most successful works, Caravaggio, The Palette and the Sword, and Caravaggio, The Grace. After having demonstrated his talent in countless comic pages, his drawing and illustration would go on to be exhibited in museums and galleries around the world, making that low-priced artistic expression into fine art pieces. After several international awards and achievements, the Academia di Belle Arti in Maserata awarded him with the Honoris Causa degree. Milo Manara has sometimes been pointed out for the sexual nature of his art by some who do not see beyond the nudity and the suggestive poses. This master of comics has found in eroticism a way to tell all kinds of stories with beautiful drawings with different subtexts, and as himself affirmed, I am not saying that eroticism is important, but it does occupy 60% of our life. <laughs>